Yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. Knock him out one day. Hi, we're Jungle Beats. My name's Papaya Fitzgerald. That was close. <laughs> Papaya. I'm Alexander Sandaris. Sandaris. Don't forget it. Sandaris. Papaya Fitzgerald. And me and Papaya are going to do another <laughs> Unknown Artist review. This is like the... This is... We've done nearly 20 at this point. Yo. And um, I'm really glad we've done so many so far. Same. Even though they don't garner as many views as others, just the one or two people that listen to it and become fans, yeah. that's all we want. Right. And it scales as we grow, that scales. Um, and oh. so we have an artist called Variety, and I'll put all these links in the description if you want to listen to him. Um, mm -hmm. I love your, your guys' reviews. I'd love to hear your take and criticism. Um, we gonna give it to you. You know what we do. Keep it honest, 100. Mm. And he said we got three tracks. Uh, two that are released and one he's on the fence about. We're going to... We're going to get to it. Mm -hmm. First one's called, his name's Variety. First one's called Initial Introduction, produced by B. Young. I'm ready, Variety. Let's see if you've got a variety of things for me to listen to. Super laid back, sleepy. Yeah, the production definitely gives me some like, I don't think an artist that's good to relate this to. Maybe currency, it gives me very currency like vibes. Mm. It's, I think it suits well for an autumn winter day like this, this type of, you know, just chuck on in the background, vibe out. So we're trying to think of a good way to go about this because there's a lot that I like from this track. There's also a lot that I don't like from this okay, track. Okay, let's start with what you like. What do you like? I've said what I like. I like his I like his voice. I like his tone. I like the way that he laces himself over this beat. I think that he fits well to it. Um, I liked a few of his lines, but then I didn't like a lot of his lines. You think what, they were a bit corny? A bit um, like lackluster? Yeah, some were just more just like, it was just saying it for the fact that it rhymed. And, uh, the things I didn't like, I thought uh, the mastering of this track was pretty rough. I thought that some of the times you came in or sometimes the beat would come in was a little off. It felt a little, just felt, yeah, I just wasn't feeling the overall, the overall track itself. Did you feel at the end, there was a couple lines where he'd speed up what he was saying just to make it rhyme and make uh, it fit? Yeah, I didn't like that. See, I liked it when you kept your sort of pace. I think you even had a line in this track about people saying that you couldn't rap fast. I heard a line like that, and maybe you, you did that thing to show them that you could. Um, I feel like that when you're just rapping like this, rapping like that, it's like, I prefer that instead of you being like, rapping like, trying to get to the beat, like, when you finish like that. I, I wasn't feeling that too much. Hmm, I think it's very fair criticism, and it was very, very honest, and yeah. Um, but yeah, there's lots of like, like I said, I like your voice, I like your tone. I think this sort of production really suits you. It was a really chill. Like I said, it gave me very much sort of currency sort of vibes. Um, a lot yeah. of people are going to enjoy... Just enjoy it. Yeah, and also 5,000 views, that's nothing to fuck with, man. That's good. 5,000 views is good if you're an artist that doesn't have much like. Yeah, but more on. importantly, the ratio of people who like it to dislike it seems to be proportionally like. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So yeah, a good start. Second one, yeah. Wasted. Produced by, I'm sorry, UC, YC, I don't know. I, mean, I bet you I could say it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you say. Maybe. You mean? So that's what he looks like, I think. Oh, can't say Joji. 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> this track man I feel very similar to the first track in a way like there's but a he's lot... doing something different though well yeah that's you know what and what's he called what's his artist name Variety so you live into your name that's what I was really hoping I was, if, if all three tracks were going to show us were going to be the same I was going to be like what about that name though <laughs> <laughs> the fucking but, uh, meme what about that name though <laughs> but, uh, but now that you've given me this it's good you, you, you've picked the right name um, I love the beat I love the minimalisticness. I yeah, love how 100%. it's a simple bass Agreed. and it's just the Congo, just the dun dun dun. Congo? Well, it's like, like you know. Ah. Oh, right. Yeah. I think it's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's not right. I like the hook. Mm. I like your use of autotune. I think it suits you as well. So and and the, the comparison, we get the autotune and he comes in and gives his normal voice and he doesn't overstay his welcome. He's right, right back to the autotune. But that's where it, that's where it kind of went down. I didn't really like the verse. I thought that the... Um, I thought that your verse on that track, it wasn't, it didn't have that clear, crisp and sort of confident delivery. No, well, I don't think it was supposed to, bro. You hear what he's talking no, about? No, time, no. time wasted, time like... No, no, that's not what I mean. It's just the feeling. Like, listen to him. He's like a little bit offbeat or just like the, like the way he delivers the line just doesn't have that, that sharpness or just that, okay. that, that, that sort of amount to it that really makes you just really pay attention to be like, Ugh. like the way he delivered those lines is just felt a little bit like... Like, he was just reading them like he wasn't feeling them. Okay. That's just what I felt. So I liked everything about that track except for the verse. I thought the verse could have been re-recorded and could have been done in a manner which I felt like it was, you know, live in a way that I would have seen more fit. I think you did that on purpose. But one of I us is right. Did. And one of us is wrong. Or neither of us is right. And neither of us is wrong. Well, maybe you just need to fucking shut up and... Dance. Dance, boy. We got one more. To this, the and, the, beat. and this is the one he's on the fence about. It's called Assumptions featuring... Um, featuring Sergio. 8,000 views. Why here. does that ring a bell? Mm. Mm. The beat. I've been making songs. The fucking Give it a whirl, but you still an answer. I answer every chick, cause I got manners. Not gonna get involved with your shit. I might be by standard. Not because I don't care about so Don't get it backwards. I ain't like those actors. I'm one of those rappers. I care about what matters. Your thoughts lead me straight back. That's what I got. That's what I was thinking. Do you remember when we did the um, Yes, that's what I was thinking. 
That's my favorite one right there. Same. I don't know why you're on the fence about that one. That one's the best of the three. 100%, bro. I don't know if that's just because that sort of production fucks with me more, but... What am I going to say? And also, Sagio sounds very similar to Silver on the Q. Yeah. Even if there's a part of the song where he goes, ah, we just like the same voice for Silver News, I was like... And they both work so well together, Variety and Sergio. Mm. Like, I feel like you both, you guys should do more sh- shit together. Yeah. They both worked really good. Um, love both the verses. But there were definitely, there were times again when you when you speed up your flow to just to fit it at the end of the bar, like you'll be rapping, rapping, just to fit it. And I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I think you just need to keep it slow. You need to keep it you. And I think if you are going to take those sort of faster finishes, I think it just needs to sound right. Or just you need to just be... I don't know. I, if, you, if you listen to that and you think it sounds good, I, I hear it. I'm just like, I think, I feel like you're focusing too much on the flow that it's just not natural to you. I think just being more slow and fluent is a bit more natural as of now. What do you think about the transitions he did between the songs? I was thinking the same thing. I didn't, I think, I didn't like them. I think they were pretty abrupt and they weren't very smooth. I need maybe listen to some more to really feel it, but I feel like they could have been smoothened out and ironed That's out. The thing. I feel like if you're going to go for that abruptness, you can do it in a way that works like JPEG Murphy, for example. Here's a lot of abrupt sort of finishes or changes to a song and it just sort of works. All right. I feel like here it doesn't work. I feel like... Yeah, definitely. The first one where it's just like... Poof, I was like... I, I just, but, but the concept of where he was going, I loved. I don't mind, I don't mind the, the abruptness of when uh, Sergio comes in. Because it kind of like switched slow to the beat down as well. But I still think it could have been that little bit smoother. But that, that one was the best sort of change. And overall, this track is, is by far the best. Uh, and probably one of my... It's like a top five, top ten on Onata songs. That jazzy production fucked with me. I got an erection. You can't see it because I have a small dick. But <laughs> fuck, man. Yeah. That, God damn. That's dope, man. Stick with that. Like I'm liking how we got three different tracks. Mm-hmm. And um, it's if, is this if your name's Variety or something? Yeah, well, what a coincidence! What a what a thing, ding. Yeah, man. Um, thanks for showing us this, man. Thanks for supporting us. And you know, if, if you guys want us to review your music, or you, whatever you make, we review um art, artwork and um and and clothing, and food. So if you want us to review any of that, I hop on our Patreon. I stopped listening a while ago. Piece of shit. Um. <laughs> Yeah, like my man said, if you want us to review your hot dog, hit us up. All your music on patreon.com for slash jungle beats. We'll get to it. Variety, thank you, brother. If, you, if you're if still supporting us next month, give us another track. We'll yeah, man, I, I want to review all your stuff. I want to see if your next three tracks we want to review are different to this because I expect you to keep pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and just not being boxed in. This shit's dope. I like what you got. I like what you got. Keep it coming. Jungle Beast, make sure you follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned to all the behind the scenes, bro. Smell my sock. Don't do that. It's not a good idea. We out.